Welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to look at angle side angle proofs. Now before we actually do angle side angle proofs, this video is just going to show you how to identify which triangles could be um, could be proven using the side angle side or angle side angle approach. Okay, so I've got this first one here and this one's very obvious. Okay, we've got two triangles and they look like they could be congruent to each other, but what we're looking for are markings. Notice this angle has one little arc and this angle has one little arc, so they are corresponding angles. So let's call that angle A and angle X. So angle A corresponds to angle X and they're also congruent to each other. Okay, then we've got these two angles down here and we'll call this B and we'll call this Y. So angle B and angle Y have these two arcs, therefore angle B is congruent to angle Y. Now, we've got these two angles that match in both triangles, but we also have to have this side that falls between the two angles. So since X and Y are here, that means this side XY must be the congruent side, and yes, it's marked congruent, so this side and this side, so AB is also congruent to um, XY. So the side that's included between those two angles would be AB would be congruent to x, y, and we would have three parts of the triangle to prove angle, side, angle, in that order, angle, side, angle, okay? So let's look at the second one, okay? The second one here, we have two triangles, and they share a common side, and we have a couple things marked here. We've got these two angles are congruent to each other, so we've got an angle here and an angle here. Then we've got a right angle here. Well, since this is a straight line, that means this angle over here must also be right. So we've got two pairs of angles. Now we need that side that's going to be included between those two angles. And notice this is this side right here is a shared side. And if you have difficulty seeing that shared side, often if you will separate your two triangles and draw in the corresponding parts, this angle and then this angle up here is congruent to itself. You can see that, well, I just split this apart, therefore it's congruent to itself. So that gives us an angle side and an angle. So this one would be an angle side angle proof. Okay, let's look at a third one. Okay, here's a third one. And we've got two triangles and they share this common vertex right here. Hmm. So we've got these two angles. Now we've got, let's see, a congruent angle here and a congruent angle here. We have a congruent side this time here and a congruent side here. We would need the angle that's on the other side of that side. Well, notice these two angles are vertical angles and they're always congruent to each other. So we can use angle side angle for this one because we have an angle, an included side, and then an angle in both triangles in the same order. Okay, so let's look at this fourth one, okay? This fourth one, we have two pairs of congruent angles. We've got an angle up here and then a matching one on this other side. See how they're marked the same? So these two are the two corresponding angles. And then we have an angle here with one arc and an angle here with one arc. So these are the two corresponding angles. But then they share this common side right here, right down the middle. So you can see an angle, a side, and an angle matches an angle, a side, and an angle. So this one would also be an angle side angle proof. So again, you're looking for two angles and an included side to identify your corresponding parts. So that's how you'd identify if you're going to use an angle side angle to prove the triangles are congruent. 